Hey guys, uh, Dan Jackson here coming at you again live on tape from his wife's garage gym of character. Uh, I first wanted to start by stating that this, this module, this topic, this discussion uh, was very loaded for myself. Uh, this is a very sensitive, I guess, area of conversation or discussion that uh, hits directly with some of the issues that I've been needing to reflect upon as a growing coach person, etc., with the, <clears throat> my family and the kids that I coach within the swim team that I'm a part of. Uh, so I'm just going to use myself and my boss as the examples for this purpose because my boss on the swim team is of the baby boomer generation and I'm a millennial. So there's some, the generational gap in coaching philosophies and leadership is quite unique there, especially um, in added senses. He is Malaysian uh, and he's very much in tune with the <clears throat> quote unquote Eastern like or Eastern type approach to training philosophy. Uh, so relative to what is the modern method of approaching swim training specifically and the willingness to allow kids to kind of uh, branch out and avoid the burnout by specialization, early specialization, it's a little more difficult to, I guess, uh, adjust, uh, help, uh, assist my boss in adjusting his coaching philosophy to meet the needs of the current state of the modern athlete. Uh, now, that, that being said, he has a, or we have a magnificent group of kids that are, they're quite talented. However, they struggle with the intrinsic side of being motivated. Now, that being said, they sometimes bounce around from left to right within uh, the, 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 the self-determination theory spectrum as, we've, as we know very well now, uh, to where sometimes they'll <clears throat> have a moment of, oh, I, I fully grasp this, I understand it, I identify with X, Y, or Z, or A, B, or C, a, B or C, and then all of a sudden chaos will be put into place within their paradigm and they don't know what to do with it. So over the course of several years, my boss has not had much willingness to adjust, and I've been lucky enough to reflect heavily and now I'm working with the kids so Doc Councilman once said uh, 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 submerge your ego know your athletes uh, if they have an issue if they don't like you etc 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 figure out why and try to help guide them through it um, so one thing that really stuck out to me this week was the finding the why uh, as positive coaching and as positive leaders. Uh, and <clears throat> it, uh, how can I say this sensitively? Um, advocating the relationship side to where they have their, as where the kids can perceive that they are a part of the plan. If they buy, if they ha buy into it and they, you showcase love, that servant leadership that we have discussed quite a bit and we allow them and direct them to hit the necessary ABC or to hit the ABCs of the ST of the SD of the SDT, um, then it seems as though with this organization specifically, the kids really start to thrive. An example I'll use is there's a kid on our team who I, I, I'm not proud of this, but I despised coaching him. He was a very misguided individual. And unfortunately I was very close minded several years ago. Uh, fast forward, uh, he and I now get along incredibly well, and it all started with just a couple things. I started asking him questions to get his genuine input on things because I valued his um, input on what progression there, um, what progressions needed to occur to help himself and maybe help everyone else. Uh, and once that started to blossom, I then began to branch out with the whole team, and now the relationship aspect between myself and the team has improved quite a bit subjectively speaking uh, and how and uh, my boss has noted that and he's actually began to organically adjust to several things to where the team is actually for the first time in the four years I've been with I've been with him quite happy so my question to you guys is where throughout your coaching career teaching career etc have you found an instance where you can actually sit and reflect upon I needed to adjust an input 
a magnificent state of uh, mindfulness and kind of because that's exactly what it is I, as I put it in mindfulness uh, similar to uh, I strongly recommend actually all re read Victor Frankl's book uh, Man's Search for Meaning that Dr. Sullivan mentioned because it, this has helped me the most that mindfulness that mindfulness aspect really has guided me to uh, adjust so where have you guys found that within your career and where can you single out areas where you can applaud yourself that where like you know what this was the catalyst for my growth and i can visibly see that a b c or x y z is occurring and it's actually a positive route this is okay to pat ourselves on the back sometimes uh, thanks for listening and i'll be signing off right now for my wife's garage gym of character have a great night